Hey guys, very crudely yours. Um, sorry the lights are low. I have something really weird going on with uh, this eye right here. Pretty much where my finger is and the, the bridge of the nose, it's swollen and, and sore and I don't know what it is. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow, but it sucks really bad. Um, the movie I'm going to review this week is it's called The Landlord. Let me see if I can get this without a glare. Of course I can't. There we go. Um, this actually, this version is actually out of print. This movie is being repressed by a company called Tempe, which I've heard a lot about, but I don't think I have any other releases. Uh, pretty cool disc. Um, so I don't know if anyone else has this version. Let me know. I don't know what's different between this one and the Tempe. I know there are new bonus features and a better transfer. I don't know in particular though, but I got this to review for my website, and the company that releases it, like kind of stopped releasing it. I think, the, um, I think it's the director's company called Massive Ego. So I really, I don't, I mean, I, I want to type a review for it, but I don't really know what to put. I don't know what website to link because Tempe is not on my screener list. And if they're not selling it from, uh, what is it? The landlordmovie.com, which is now a defunct domain, then I, I really don't know what, what to do with it, so I'm just doing a video review and informing people about it since I don't know how to do a text review about it and how to link it. Um, but the movie is basically just these these two kids who their their parents were in a satanic cult. Um, they have this uh, like it's like a duplex, and they um, the the sisters into law enforcement, and she uses these demon vampire type creatures to. Um, use she, like like play like good cop bad cop and she like is like a like really like tough as nails street cop that uses these vampires to kill criminals and stuff and um the brother is the the landlord of this house and he just gets the tenants in there and then the demons which one is this guy and the other one's a dog-faced looking woman um they eat the tenants and I mean, that that that's pretty much it but it's it actually has some ink incredibly funny moments in it and I, I really like how a lot of the things that you're like oh this is what's going to be about it kills really fast um like the typical cliches that you would expect in a movie like this it, it kills them really quickly which was something i wasn't expecting there um there's a couple of characters in it that i really thought were going to be just like pissing on everyone throughout the whole movie and i was wrong they, they died really quickly i don't want to tell you who it is though because i don't want to give it away but yeah they they were just offed um Another thing is, there is a lot of surprise things in it. There, there's a lot of funny stuff in it. Um, there's a part in it where uh, one of the demons is like, hey, you can't mock hell like that. It's it's just got some great moments in it. Sorry, like I said, I am feeling like shit. I am half out of it right now. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about whenever I say that. It's not the worst, like, sickness thing that I've ever had. Because I don't feel bad at all. It's just the most annoying pain I've ever felt because it's like a migraine in this part of your head. About about the length of my finger is where the pain is, and it's just shooting all the way back into my brain. It feels really good. It got so bad yesterday. As long as I keep Advil and pain pills in me, I'm fine. But it got so bad yesterday, which just sucks because my friend was spending the night, but I just had to bury my face in a pillow for 30 minutes waiting for the Advil to kick in. It sucks. So, sorry I'm kind of not 100% for this review, but if you get a chance... The new release comes out in March, I believe. Very fun movie. It doesn't break new ground by any stretch of the imagination. It has some really bad CGI, and you can definitely tell that they use some, like, Spencer's GIF type um, severed limb props in some parts of it. But a lot of the effects do look good. There's, I don't think there's any um, CGI gore. There's a CGI explosion that's fucking hilarious. And there's some CGI, like, transportations and, like, metamorphosis of the ground and stuff. But nothing that's really going to put a damper on anyone. Like, you're not, you're not going to criticize it. It's about the same as Black Devil Doll from Hell, the kind of CGI it used. Um, and I fucking love Black Devil Doll from Hell. So, yeah, if you get a chance, check out check out The Landlord. It It's definitely worth a watch. And it's for the kind of movie it is, I think it did a really good job. Because it didn't try to break new ground. It didn't get too ambitious with what it was doing. It kind of knew that it was relying heavily on other influences, and it really wanted to just have fun. And that's what it is. It's just a very fun movie. 
I mean, like, it's not a gross-out movie by any means, and in fact, like I said, the, the gore is, it looks good, but it is amateur. Not like Olaf Ittenbach to that extent, on the amateur scale, and, like, the splatter and stuff, it's just, you know, it's, it's, there's, it's in no way at all up to, um, most underground standards, but it, it's just fun. I mean, seriously, how many movies do you know out there that are just fun? And, and this is one that I, I really enjoyed.